So we are now going to be going into another episode for YouTube because that's how I'm breaking up this video, this stream. The stream gets broken by the continues. Court is now in session for the trials of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready. The defense is ready. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was, in fact, Studio 2. Today, I will call on people present at the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Very well. Edgewood seems a bit on edge today. I think that's because I finally convinced Edgeworth that we're good people and he likes us. You may call your first witness, Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. Miss D. Vasquez is the producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. Do I have a cloth for No, I don't. Will the witness state her name and occupation? D. Vasquez, I am a producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, were you in the trailer in Studio 2? As everyone here knows, yes. I dislike needless banter. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. Ugh. Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down, so to speak. Testimony on the day of the murder. I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15 minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio One. That's all. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you? The van. Hmm? There's a van at Studio 2. I had him take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk, what with that monkey head toppled over. Ah, uh, I see. Very well. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. And when exactly was that? I've forgotten. Maybe you could try remembering? No. The meeting ended at 4, and the rehearsal was scheduled for 5. I would think it was between those times. You would think? Come on, all you did was state the obvious, Edgeworth. So I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15 minute break in the meeting. And what were you doing that time? Don't hit your desk. It irrates me. Yeah, Mr. Wright. Oops. It was a 15 minute break. At the table in front of the trailer. Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal. No, I mean someone else. One person is enough. 
She's committed murder during the break. She wouldn't have had time to eat T-bone steak. If I had some evidence that proved she didn't eat the steak. Well, Nick, find anything? I wish I had more. I kind of wish she said a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being the boss. But I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction. Oh, a little before. Let's inquire about this. By yourself. Yes. And you didn't stop in the employee area. No. Are you always like this? Terse? Yes. Oh dear. The meeting began at 12 sharp and ended at 4. Did no one leave during the meeting? No one. Come on, let's talk a bit more about that. The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Stop interrupting the testimony. And please stop banging on your little desk, it hurts my ears. What can I do? After the meeting in the trailer, when did the... Objection. Your Honor, oh. I did not mean for that. A T-bone steaks. Yeah, finally. Okay. I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be looking for. I've gone through all the statements. Didn't I? T-bone steaks in front of the trailer. Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal. No, I mean someone else. One person is enough. Oh, 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 oh. I, I, I think I figured it out. I, I think I figured out what I'm supposed to do, do, do. Present. The steak plate. Ha! As I thought. You claim you ate a T-bone steak. But I say you did not. W what is this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's a plate. This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will, Miss Vasquez and Mr. Manella ate at a table outside the trailer. Yet there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare. Miss Vasquez, tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I think I know how. You didn't eat the steak. You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere, like that incinerator. Ah, I see. Then what was Miss Vesquez doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? She was meeting the Steel Samurai. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Order. Uh, are you saying... Yes, Your Honor. As Miss Vizquez left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai. And then you did it. You killed him with your own hands. But Mr. Wright, isn't that a little presumptuous? 
What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick. Let's see. What was the murder weapon again? Ah, yes, the samurai spear. I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? I'm gonna save it. I think you would have a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Ha! You see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning, the samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used in the mur as the murder weapon. It's going to be that photo. That. Wrong, Mr. Wright. Bye. Okay. I present my proof, the so-called murder weapon, but that is the murder weapon, not so fast. Remember that this spear broke during the morning action scene run through, but someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady, she fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who's wearing a thick costume with this? through the chest. Order, order. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what your silence. I'm the one testifying here and I will be heard. Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then what pray tell was? How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what I can tell you? Very well, let's see the murder weapon. That's gonna be this. Look at this photo. Wh what is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing atop of the stairs. Order! Order! If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close, it was a close kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see it? See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? Uh, what? Are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago? Has happened again. Mr. Wright, continue. It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Miss D. Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs and onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had 
himself done five years ago. Though whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. In other words, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die. Five years ago. Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> Very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. You deny what I say is true? Mr. Wright, let's say, for the sake of argument, that Hammer died at the trailer as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned to the trailer all in the space of a 15 minute break? How could I have disposed of the body? The break in the meeting at trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death, then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time. Indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? She had another way. What if she had another way to carry the body, other than with her own hands? For instance? Actually, for that matter, there was no need to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. Interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. With the van. Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One and you used the studio van to do it. Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into the magistrate costume. Hold on, right? Don't forget, it was Sal Manella who drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? Of course he was. Of course Sal Manella has to be a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. Also don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in the small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. I lose. You win. It was fun. Uh, win? She admitted to it. Wow. I was not expecting her to just outright admit it. So what happens next? Don't me. Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Uh, I lost something like that. I just said that. Well, wait, so you mean D. Vasquez? So it was you. You killed Jack Hammer. Who can say? Huh? Are you sure I did, Mr. Wright? We just engaged in a battle of wits, and the results of that battle, you proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. Right? But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. Wh wh what? What? Order. Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Um, uh, hmm. Uh, of course, it's as the witness says. 
Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it, but, uh, there's no proof. Edgeworth isn't sure. Well, I came here as a witness today, and you've no more questions. I'll be leaving. What do I do now? Testify again. I'd like to testify again. Testify again. No one to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say that I said... I can only say what I said before. The truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh, you ask the same question, you get the same answer. A waste of time. Damn. Damn. To come so far only to fail. As it seems there are no further questions, I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Miss Vasquez. Yes, Miss Ed Mr. Edgeworth. I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting you, Your Honor. I didn't. I see very well. Your Honor! <laughs> I request that the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I, I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see little point in making Miss Vesquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Well... Yes, um. Indeed! Verily, I say, ergo. I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body. Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. Hmm. Nick! Why did Edgeworth. Who knows? He probably realized she did it too. But. But. Wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that, Edgeworth. I was with Sal and Oldbag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too. Only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. The security lady, Oldbag, was quite agit agitated, pointing that Powers pointing at Powers, saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. Hmm. I see no issue raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick, we're close, real close. She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need to twist the truth out of her. Okay. I was with Sal and Old Bag, the security lady, when we found the body. What time was that? We were to meet at 5 for the rehearsal, so I'd say it was then. When exactly did you and Mr. Manella arrive at the studio? About 10 minutes before. I wasn't stuffing any bodies into costumes, mind you. Hmm. Where were the other employees you got to the studio? They weren't there yet. Well, then you could have put Hammer in the costume with Salmonella's help. Oh, what did I just say? Did I not just say I wasn't stuffing any bodies into any costumes? You should try to listen to what people are saying, boy. But boy. The witness will continue with her testimony. The assistant was there, too. Only Powers was absent. Mr. Powers was taking a nap, correct? So he says. Did no one go to call him? Remember. Remember what? There was a dead body lying in front of us. Yet yeah, you expect me to be calm. You certainly seemed calm enough when I accused you of murder. 
Let's press harder. Dr Wait a sec. Wouldn't that be the other way around? The other way around? You discovered a murdered body and one person was missing, right? Wouldn't you normally go looking for the missing person? I have to agree with the defense on this one. Well, Miss Vesquez? Hmm. Logically speaking, perhaps. But no one there was thinking very logically, I assure you. Also, without his Steel Samurai costume, Powers doesn't really stand out. We often left him on the bus when shooting at locations. No one noticed he was missing. Poor Powers. I suppose that explains that. Very well, Miss Vesquez, you may continue. Then Powers showed up. The security lady was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he did it. Old bag, the security lady. Why did the security lady think Powers had done it? She said because she saw him going towards the studio. Right, the Steel Samurai. Did the detective arrest Mr. Powers based solely on the security lady's words? Perhaps not. She seemed to also have given the detective that photograph. Of course, I heard all this after the fact. That photograph, meaning the one taken by the security camera. She's not known for exhibiting the best sense of judgment when it comes to Hammer. I don't think there's anything in there I can use. I left to be asked to be left out. You asked to be left out. Yes. It seems that everyone else was questioned, and I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. But you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that since we were in a meeting. There was no way we could have been involved, thus they covered for us. Covered for you, or covered it up for you. There must have been a lot of, a lot riding on it, with all those big wigs at the meeting. I'm sure her professionals helped convince everyone to, they didn't require questioning. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. The script and direction notes? Yes, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder, after all. Who could think of a rehearse? Who could think of rehearsing after that? I guess. Your Honor, I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Huh. Think. Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. Order, order. Mr. Edgeworth. What you've just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court seems my role here. Now, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Neither can I. So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. Mm -hmm. Very well, the witness will change her testimony to reflect this. I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. How did you know about the injury? How did I know? Sal, he told me. Sal, the director. You have to find something to peg this on her here, or everything we've done till now would have been wasted. I believe in you, Nick. Go get him. When we found the body, 
The assistant was there too, only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. The security lady point was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. I knew that Hammer was injured, so I left them behind. Let's ask this part. What was everyone else doing at the time? No one said a thing. It was silent, completely silent. So we stood there until Powers finally arrived on the scene. Sorry, sorry I'm late. Then silence. Dead silence. Silence. Nick? Why is everyone so quiet? Someone should have said something to lighten things up. It was quite agitated, pointing at power saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and notes. Objection. This. You knew that Hammer was injured. Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. Wh what? Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo, but that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. P pretending? One person was injured in the run through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? The IRA said it was Sal who told me. That's right, he must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manella was at the run through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez? Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Aha! And when was he doing this? Well, it would have it would have to have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume and went to Studio 2 where he was murdered. Exactly. Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in the Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. Order, order. I will have order. Witness. Can you refute this claim? <laughs> Let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. Ugh. Why are the real killers always so persistent? Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? If there was a reason, it is unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything on this matter? In other words, can you prove she had a motive? Of course I can prove it. I have proof and I'll show it to you. I present to the court evidence that Miss of Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Right, here goes. I present the court evidence to the motive. Take that! 
This is my proof. This is the photo from before. This photo reveals the motive in the murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With D. Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the, court, the case currently up for trial. It began on that day five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. Hm. Bringing us to the present day and Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly, it was a constant source of shame for the ex-star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. Are you talking about motives here? Yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if... As if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, not the other way around. What motive would Miss Vasquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have had no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of a good get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Mr. Wright, please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. Okay. Allow me to present the court evidence proving her motive. Okay. So, I have no idea why piece of evidence Cuz I don't have the information about how she's canceling She had no motive, your honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. What's that now? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. What? What? Your Honor, Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him for years. I'm flabbergasted. So, you didn't, didn't you? Yes. I am guilty. It was me. Someone call an ambulance. Th there's blood everywhere. We're too late. Miss Vasquez, what? What happened here? Manuel fell from the trailer stairs. Manuel, Manuel! Miss Vasquez, please try to remain calm. No, no, how could this? It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and... No, Manuel, Manuel! Don't touch him, Miss Vasquez. No! Please, please don't die, please. Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose again.
Mr. Edgeworth, where's D. Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor. As calm and collected as ever. I see. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. I thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Will Powers was innocent. That he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Yes, yes, you're right. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, not guilty. Gosh, that took me an hour compared to the process. She did a good job hiding her, t her trail. That is all. This court is adjourned. Ah, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but it's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vizquez. But to think that he tried to frame me for the murder, it makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Huh? Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... It's because you were the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammer was a big star at once. But he was reduced to acting in a kid's show and as the villain to boot. The kids loved the Steel Samurai, and so he hated you. I, I think I understand. He could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. Congratulations, WP. Oh, <laughs> thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume and... It... Is something wrong? No, of, of course not. Ah! Nick Edgeworth. Say something, right? I'm not good at small talk. What? Um, that was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No, I really want to thank you. This guest would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. Pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. Uh, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Liar. Right? I must say, I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However, in retrospect, it would have been better had we not met. Thanks to you, I'm saddled with unnecessary feelings. Unnecessary feelings. Yes, unease and uncertainty. Aren't those kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix, right? Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's what I came to tell you. Um, Mr. Wright? Was that guy your friend? What? Friends? As if. They're rivals. Rivals! Right, Nick? For now we are, I guess. Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick. Tell me, what's the deal with you and Edgeworth? And so the curtain closed on another trial. I caused quite... A stir by revealing the accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. They went back to making kids shows again. Nick, this is it. The new show starts today. You're going to watch it with me, right? I'll admit I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. You have to buy trading cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and that assistant. 
Fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead again? I wonder if they'll show his face this time. I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the real Will Powers. Wait, they have Will playing the Pink Princess? That doesn't seem right. A brand new episode has been added. And we're going to get started on it right away. But I think I'm only going to be able to get one day in. The investigation and the first court trial.